Hi everyone, today I'm kind of making a bit of an emergency video upload because of what happened yesterday in the stock market. We saw the stock market go down about 600 points yesterday. Every single stock was beating down quite heavily overall and it's making some good opportunities to buy into the stock market right now. Now, this has basically come because of the China trade war. This has basically caused most of this downturn that happened yesterday. And US and China coming back at each other with a lot of tariffs that are going on. And it's created some buying opportunities overall. What amazes me just how quickly the market can go from everyone talking about going to new highs and you see all the news outlets pouring on all this fear factor, the images they're using saying is this the 10 year cycle, is this where the stock market crashes and overall in my opinion it's not, it's just a little bit of a correction now because we had what I believe was the China trade war priced into the stock market uh, and that we were going to have a deal and because we're not having that deal we're seeing that pull back now. Now actually when we look into the stock market itself it's not actually pulled back that much. Everyone's going like oh it's pulling back all this. It's not actually pulled back a huge amount. When we look back at how the stock market is doing we when we look at all the problems that were caused by China earlier in the year we saw a big massive pullback that was towards the 24,000 range on the Dow um, and at some points it even went a little bit lower which is a very key support area which I'll talk about in a little bit but it's not down absolutely huge and for me I would like to see the stock market go down a little bit more so we have a bit better buying opportunity than what we have right now but these sort of stocks are starting to stand out with some good opportunities to buy in but it just amazes me how quick the uh, news turns around and says that this is going to be the sort of the crash that's going to cause the crash in the stock market because we're near like the 10 year cycle of us having a bull market but the stock market was down 600 points like I say it's not down a huge amount it's only down about 5% uh, and like I say um, I would to be honest with you I'd love the stock market to get down to the 24 range um, or of the Dow um, and that would create some good buying opportunities there and if we could see a bounce there that would be awesome so I still believe the stock market has a lot of potential to go down uh, another 5% um, but normally after we have a day like this we normally see a bounce in the stock market so it would be interesting to see how the stock market opens today and if we see a bounce or not but historically we have had bounces when we have a days like this um, so if it is a red day um, it would be interesting to see how low that stock market goes. But the thing that, like I say, which really annoys me is that it's not down huge. So when we look at the big massive companies that I really love, my two favourite companies, which is Microsoft and Visa. Microsoft and Visa are hardly down at all at the moment. They've only come down about 3-4%, um, which is really frustrating. Like I would I would love to see Microsoft and Visa come down a 10% and that would make buying opportunity because out of all the stocks in the stock market, Visa and Microsoft are the two stocks I really want to add into. But they just hardly pull back at all and I was hoping that them two would pull back about a 10% correction but they haven't done so. Um, those are the two that I really wanted to add into but they haven't. But five stocks to watch right now that I am watching in this um, correction that we're having. Hopefully it will go down a little bit more. Now I could have put Apple because a lot of revenue comes in uh, from China for Apple and they've actually pulled back a massive bit and if you remember I actually saw my shares in Apple at $204 um, about two weeks ago um, and because I said it was a fair value now that Apple is starting to pull back to the 180 range if that potentially goes a bit lower to the 160 range there's a potential for me to actually get back into Apple um, so that's one that I'm watching that I haven't put on this list. But some good buying opportunities right now is obviously I made a video about it last week. It's Boeing. Um, obviously that's been hurt a lot by the Max 8 crashes as well as the China trade war because they get revenue from China. And everyone has that feeling China might try target Boeing. But Boeing itself is starting to get to the price where I want to enter. A very healthy P. And even with all these problems, you know, it has the potential to go up like to about 4 ish in the next 12 months. Obviously the Max 8 is going to cause a few problems going ahead. They're going to have to pay out for all the um, deaths that were caused by the Max 8. So obviously there's a lot of pressure on that stock still going ahead. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what happens in the Q2 earnings. But as a long term investor, I don't mind holding Boeing through that. Tesla, a new stock that I added, um, obviously that's down to the 220 range. And that's quite, hasn't been at that price for quite a long time. So what I always like to do is like say, if you look at how much the company's improved since it was last at 220, it was quite a bit. You know, you have the company making profit, you have all these models that are coming out now. Um, so obviously Tesla doesn't deserve to be at that price. So for me, Tesla's definitely under undervalued at that price. I don't know if I'll add shares into te Tesla right now. 
Um, maybe if I was 20% down on position, then I would do. Um, but right now, i am got no plans to add into it at the moment at this price. Um, Alibaba, um, a new stock for me as well. I kind of thought that the China trade war would be uh, sorted out. And because it hasn't been sorted out, that's caused the stock to pull back. But at these prices, you know, same again. You look at how much Alibaba has increased its uh, revenue, its EPS, since it was last down at 160. And for me, it's an absolute bargain at these prices. You know, this company is a $250 company sitting at 160. So, like I say, if this stock goes down 20%, then I'll probably add into Alibaba. But to be honest with you right now, I'm only about 10% down in Alibaba. Um, JD has been hit because of the China trade war. Um, one of my biggest positions, I've just made a video about earnings yesterday, how amazing they were. So when you look at all these earnings, it's a company that's just basically, you know, it's based in China. It doesn't need revenues from the US. So it's hardly going to be affected. And after looking at the earnings yesterday, how much that company's grown, you know, that's easily, a, you know, a $30 stock that should be going towards the $40 range. And my last one, NVIDIA. NVIDIA was down at obviously the 130s at the lowest point last year. Obviously, it's had a lot of problems with um, its margins that have caused a, a lot of it to go down. You know, I thought when NVIDIA hit 130, it was a good buying opportunity, but there were so many out there, it was just one that I never took. Um, and then it eventually went up, and I was like, ah, oh, well, I missed that, but I don't mind too much. Um, but now NVIDIA is dropping a lot more towards the 130 range, and that's where for me it's like getting a little bit like this is quite a bargain here. So NVIDIA is one that I'm considering as well. But like I say, we're starting to get some opportunities now to invest in um, with this pullback. Like I say, hopefully we'll go down a little bit more and make some even more opportunities. Like I love to add into this Microsoft and Visa position on these on this dip if it goes low enough. So that's kind of my plan, guys. There's a five stack, so I'm watching quite closely. Obviously, I mentioned Apple as well. Um, but obviously, it's got a fair way to go, like Microsoft and Visa. And that's the video today talking about the stock market dropping 600 points yesterday, guys. If you are a little bit worried, a little bit nervous, or you're looking for stocks to buy, I hope this video helps you. So um, thank you for all that support recently. Um, we're getting towards like 260 subscribers, which is amazing. So hopefully we'll get to 260 by the end of the week. Obviously, I said I'd like to get to 300 by the end of the year. So um, hopefully we can make that happen. So thank you for all that support, guys. I'll see you in the next video.